రెస్పెక్టెడ్ డైరెక్టర్ ఐడిఆర్ బిటి హూ ఈస్ దర్సన్ హూ ఈస్ ఎనేబులింగ్ అడ్మినిస్ట్రేషన్ ఆఫ్ ది ఫైనాన్షియల్ టెక్నాలజీస్ ఫండ్ సెటప్ ఎస్పెషలీ ఫర్ ఇంప్రోవైజింగ్ టెక్నాలజీ స్టాండర్డ్స్ ఇన్ ఆర్ఆర్బిస్ కోఆపరేటివ్స్ అండ్ అదర్ ఫైనాన్షియల్ ఇన్క్లూషన్ ఇన్స్టిట్యూషన్స్ హూ ఆర్ ఇన్వాల్వ్ ఇన్ దాట్ అండ్ ఆల్సో హీ ఈస్ బేసికలీ అ పర్సన్ హూ హ్యాస్ బీన్ ప్రమోట్ డెవలప్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ బ్యాంకింగ్ టెక్నాలజీస్ ఇన్ ద కంట్రీ అండర్ ద రూఫ్ ఆఫ్ రిజర్వ్ బ్యాంక్ ఆఫ్ ఇండియా విచ్ హెస్ బీన్ ప్రమోటింగ్ టెక్నాలజీస్ ఇన్ ది కంట్రీ వే బ్యాక్ ఫ్రమ్ ఎయిటీస్ అండ్ దెన్ మోర్ సో ఆఫ్టర్ నైన్టీస్ అండ్ ఆల్ దట్ అండర్ ద ఎస్పెషలీ అండర్ ద గైడెన్స్ ఆఫ్ ఎమినెంట్ డాక్టర్ సి రంగరాజన్ యాజ్ ఇట్స్ గవర్నర్ అండ్ నౌ ప్రెసెంట్లీ ద చైర్మన్ ఆఫ్ ది ప్రైమ్ మినిస్టర్ ఎకనామిక్ కౌన్సిల్ అండ్ అదర్ డిగ్నిటరీస్ ఆన్ ద డైస్ i would like to mr sharma and also for the ceo who specifically they have talked about the micro level part of the financial inclusion and related issues technology issues i would like to touch up certain issues which are uh, very much involved in the financial inclusion broader perspectives uh, for effective governance we need to know about the broader perspectives what exactly is happening today i we would like to talk about that man who is sitting at the last mile post the person at the last mile post and he has to be brought in to the economic inclusion economic growth and the ensuring he is benefited has access to economic growth and its fruits and benefits and he is a person who is required to be addressed that is what is exactly he is nothing but financial inclusion and he is provided necessary services at affordable cost so that he can just come out and then have a sustainable livelihood forward and he joins the mainstream and that forms the accelerated economic growth in the country all around growth perhaps you know this in india i would appreciate dr ravi gupta and his entire uh, team that they have organized this conference especially for ict and with a special reference to this financial inclusion subject in a month just a month ahead of un which is going to meet united nations which is going to meet in the month of september to review the progress of the million uh, millennium development goals that is one of the major thing out of the eight goals there are a few goals which are very much relevant to financial relevant to financial inclusion like poverty reduction women empowerment health education child health and all that some of these things and then are very very vital and that is what we are looking at financial inclusion and the united secretary united nation secretary general himself has reviewed in the month of february or march what exactly is the position globally and in countries about their commitments to millennium development goals because when they formed the when they announced the millennium development goals in 2000 they said the 50% of poverty reduction should be ensured within a matter of 10 years now they have revised it to 2015 the entire poverty reduction has to come by come down by 50% but what exactly has been the progress so far and what are the problems and then exactly why i am going to talk is only because of the that is what exactly comes as the effective governance governance by countries where they have failed or achieved the promise is not based on pity or charity but on solidarity what exactly is financial inclusion when we are looking at the poor man and poor person it is not the promise based on pity or charity but on solidarity justice and the recognition that we are increasingly dependent on one another for our shared prosperity and security this is a very important thing he is not an untouchable we look at him with passion compassion but not in charity but then lunch is not free for him we will not provide him but we will give him enough access to host of services what sort of things should be there for financial inclusion the products and services should include credits and uh, insurance uh, remittances and skilling and then all sort of credit and non credit inputs extension services infrastructure and other things at affordable cost should be available does he have that 
we have got a large part of chatisgarh or jargram uh, Jar, uh, jharkhand or you find you know or in andaman or in uh, as african regions or in certain latin american countries or even middle east we find the position is not that comfortable this begins with the farmer in the rural village who is at the last mile post who is a backbone of the private sector un defines a farmer as a private sector person from there the private sector is escalated to the multinationals across the globe and then it extends all the way to the major multinational companies that often operate in more than 100 countries around the world while the public sector is doing its job government and public sector and major agencies who are involved in uh, what you call governance uh, they are doing their job well in regulation public investments in key infrastructure such as roads and power and the provision of public services such as education and health but the private sector often plays a central role in economic development but can play that role effectively only when the public sector is doing its job as well in regulation public investments in key infrastructure etc now the shortfalls in progress are not because they are unreachable or because the time is too short but rather because of unmet commitments inadequate resources lack of focus and accountability and insufficient interest in sustainable development this has resulted in failure to deliver on the finance financial services technical support and partnerships necessary as a consequence of these shortfalls aggravated by the global food and economic crisis local crisis as well as a failure of various development policies and programs improvements in the lives of the poor have been un unacceptably slow and shoddy in uh, the last 10 years the global progress has been quite impressive to some extent mainly because the real progress has taken place in china according to un's report and there have been failures in several other countries so overall there is a uh, growth is very slow how can we better support and facilitate employment incentive sustained and equitable growth and structured changes how can we support holistic community led approaches to achieve the synergies for providing access of finance and fruits of development to poor to make them being under financial inclusion ambit how can national commitments support to raise agricultural output in order to overcome hunger and ensure food security which is the ultimate goal how can we ensure monitoring of that governance what institutional reforms are required to overcome inequalities and empowerment social protection and also sustainable livelihoods A lot of things have been taking place even in our country but still you look at the apprehension on the part of the regulator or they have got their own difficulties but still they feel they will like the deposit mobilization rural deposit mobilization can come through only licensed mainstream institutions banks or nbfcs and that you know a large chunk of low cost resources are not available to other institutions which have been developed over a period of time we call the microfinance institutions a large number of institutions have come into place and there is no regulation is yet to be brought in and the regulatory present regulatory supervisory resources are inadequate they are afraid they may like to employ one more different regulatory bodies across the globe the position is almost similar and what we are looking at is governance and institutional implementation adhering to the fundamental norms and values through democratic governance thereby ensuring integrity accountability and transparency uh, transparency in management of resources real resources our challenge today is real yes the prospect has he rightly said the cost operational implementation structure you find difficulties are very much met our challenge today is real the prospect of falling failing short of goals due to lack of commitment also is very real this would be an unexpected failure please remember moral and practical failure if we fail what will happen we will have the dangers in the world across nations also instability 
violence, epidemic diseases, environmental degradation, runaway population growth will all be multiplied. Please, I would request effective governance and one of the main important plank for effective governance could be technology and perhaps mobile technology could take you forward and VID can take you forward but technology per se is not financial inclusion medicine. The real medicine comes through policy prescriptions, initiatives and viable approach for uplifting the man, providing him capacity, training, inputs, everything, all not including funding and making him aware, having access to host of services. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much.